Weather, sponsored by Executive Homes. Well, we started off the month of June with a lot of rainfall in the area, but since then, yeah, we've just basically cut it off and we've been needing that precipitation. And what here's what we're looking at now that we're in the month of July in terms of that precipitation. Not a whole lot is in stores. You could see maybe a tenth of an inch in the next couple of days, but outside of that, that is it for what we're looking at. The best opportunity would be right along that uh, Kansas Oklahoma border to our northernmost counties. Seven day rainfall chances for us 20% chance. That's it as we look towards our Sunday. So very isolated at best. We have uh, plenty of dry time next week with another isolated chance on Friday. So right now uh, what we're looking at is a system just to the north of our area that could be clipping some of our northernmost counties. But outside of that, we will stay dry here for Tulsa. I do anticipate more dry time uh, in the forecast. Current conditions, Tulsa is looking a little bit more brown than green country right now. 81 degrees, winds out of the southwest, 8 miles per hour, dew points in those 70s at this time. So we do have that heat building in. We also have that humidity, so not a good combination with those two together. 82, good morning to you guys. Mulgee, Stillwater at 83. It's only on to 78 up in Coffeeville, but there are some clouds extending down towards Bartlesville. 82 right now over into Stigler. Current heat index, here's what it's feeling like. Already seeing feels like closer to about 90. Mulgee feeling at 90 degrees. Bristow already this early in the morning, and we're going to continue to see those numbers on the rise. So this in combination with that heat is what we uh, say is a dangerous combination. So make sure you're taking frequent breaks. If you're going to be outdoors, stay hydrated as well. Don't forget that hat and that sunscreen. 90 degrees, getting about 94. Plenty of sun for us here for today. South winds about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Because of those southeasterly winds, that's going to help keep those temperatures from climbing any further. If we did have south winds or southwesterly winds, it would be a different story for today. 93, Muskogee, 92 over to Tahlequah, 93 over into Grove. As we're looking ahead towards your Saturday, Sunday, and even your 4th of July, we got a great stretch for you, but we do have a hot one. 96 for your Sunday, getting about 100 degrees for your 4th of July. We do have the return of some south southwesterly winds by the 4th that will be pretty strong, and that's going to really amp up those temperatures. We're going to keep those south winds around Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Look at those temperatures. I don't want to look at those temperatures. <laughs> you got to because we got to prepare because it's going to be that hot. I was able to squeeze them in, Julie. I had to go in and manually push everyone down. Thanks to go. Thanks for going to the extra effort for us. <laughs> just to get those, <laughs> just, just to get that third digit in there. <laughs> and I did all that I could, but we squeezed it in just like Joey Chestnut with all those hot dogs going on right now. <laughs> That's right. Well, when we come back, the.